Hi, and in today's Microsoft Word tutorial, I'm going to show you how to drag and drop images into a Word document so they're clean and you know exactly where they're going to go and you can plan it all perfectly. So what we need to do is we need to insert a table. So we're just going to go up to the Insert tab. We're going to go down to the Table icon here. Click on the drop down. And then depending on how many photographs you want on your page and depending on how big you want them to be, will depend on how many rows and columns you need. So this will all become clear when I show you this technique. So I'm going to select two rows and two columns. Now what we need to do is we need to orientate these cells in accordance with the size of our images or the crop of our images. So today I'm using square images, but I will show you how to manipulate this if you have landscape images or you have portrait images. So what we need to do is we need to set the cell heights and their widths and to do this we select the table by either clicking on this icon here or by simply clicking and dragging to highlight the table. Then we go up to table layout. Now here you can see the width of our columns are 7.95 now I don't want to change the width of these, I'm happy with the width. So because my images are square, I want to make the height the same as the width. So all I'm going to do is to enter in 7.95 to the height and press enter. And you can see now that my table has formed four square cells. Now in order to make these cells stick where they are and not move when you place an image into it, the first thing we need to do, ensure your table is still highlighted, then ensure you're on the layout tab at the top, go to this auto fit icon, click on the drop down and select fixed column width and that will fix the width of your column. Now the other trick to this is to highlight the table right click and go down to table properties. Within table properties go to the row tab here and then go down to row height is, click on this drop down and select exactly. That means that when you drag and drop your image it will not change the height of your cell. The other thing to do is to go across to table then go across to cell and then here you can select where your image will lie within your cell. I always choose center, then just click OK. Now let me just move my page across. And here we have my images. So all I'm going to do is click on my top image and drag it across and drop it into my first cell. I'm going to select my second image third image and my fourth image. Perfect and as you can see they've been perfectly inserted into my table. Now if you've got portrait images you just need to change the cell height. So for example if I put 12 in here, press enter, you'll get four portrait images in your document. Let's just select this one you can see that your portrait image will fit exactly in the table. And similarly, if we've got landscape images, let's select the table again, go to table layout. We need to make the height smaller than the width. It's usually 7.5, so let's put 5.95, press enter. And then let's just select another image. And as you can see, that drops in nicely. Now, if you don't want the border around your images, then it's really simple to sort out. So all we need to do is highlight the table, make sure you're on table design, go along to this icon here that says borders, click on the drop down and select no borders. There we go, and then just click away. And then you've got your images perfectly inserted. Then if you have got text, then you can see how it will lie within your document. 
Now, of course, you can put the table within the text, but it's normally better to insert the table into the text first rather than trying to move the table once you've done it. You can do it, just highlight it and click and drag. It can be a little bit clunky, as you can see. So let's just say that you wanted your images in your text, but you only wanted two images, one above another. So let's get rid of this table. We've got our document here. Let's say we want our images inserted here. I'm going to put my cursor at the end of this paragraph. I'm going to press the return key twice. Then I'm going to go up to insert, table, and then just one column and two rows. Now, as you can see, the table has been set up to go all the way across the page. Now, as we did before, we can go up and just set up these cell dimensions. So click on the table to highlight it, or just click and drag to highlight the table. Go up to Layout, and again to the Height and Width. Now, last time, our width was 7.95, which is roughly halfway across the page. So let's do those dimensions again. And height-wise, we'll do 7.95 again for our square images and press enter. So I will show you how to wrap the text so it will go alongside the images here. But before we do that, let's just make sure that these cells are perfectly in line and that they're not going to stretch or go out of shape once we insert our images. So again, once you've highlighted your table, go back up to auto fit, which is under the layout tab, fix the column width again, then let's right click on the table and go down to table properties. Go up to row, along to this row height is exactly. And then let's go to cell. I'm going to place my images in the center and press OK. Let's go to our images, click and drag. Perfect. Now, if you want the text to run up alongside the table, highlight the table, right click and go down to table properties. If you find that you right click, if you select the table and you right click here, sometimes it will refer to the images and you'll get a different menu. So when you've highlighted the table, make sure you right click over this little corner square at the top. Go down to table properties. So go up to table and then go to text wrapping. You can align your table to the left, center or right. I'll keep mine over to the left at the moment. Click around and then click OK. Now sometimes the text won't automatically move, so just go down to this paragraph here and click at the beginning of it. Then press the delete key and then your text will appear at the side of your table. Now to me, this text is just a little bit too close to my table. So in order to correct this, if you just highlight your table, again, right click, go down to table properties, and then go to this section here that says positioning. So go to this section that says distance from surrounding text. And you can set the top and the bottom, which we don't need to do at the moment. So you can select the top, the bottom, the left and the right. So let's just put one centimetre in for all of them. Click OK, click OK again. So as you can see, there will always be a one centimetre gap between your table and your text. Let's just get rid of those borders to see how they look. And there you have your images perfectly lined up with your text perfectly lined up around those images. So I hope that's helped you today. If it has, please subscribe and have a great day. Thank you.